All right, guys. I finally got my NRF trans receivers working. Um, this is a little testing code. I'll put the I'll put these programs on the link below. So what I have is essentially is two Arduino's. One's a transmitter, and one's a receiver. My transmitter is is hooked up to a battery, and my tra and my receiver is hooked up to my laptop, so I can see what the serial monitor outputs. So let me uh. So let me just start over again. Uh, this code should start from 100, and it should send one. It should add one to to 100 every uh, second. So there you go. You see that? It works. Um, so yeah, I'll put the link below. And as you can see uh, in this code, it's very important. So here are the two most important things about working your Arduino's, your turn receivers. I mean, make sure your wires are connected. And it, the connection is solid. Use DMM to figure out if it's not. Uh, to, uh, to use DMM to check. The second, the second thing is to is to make sure you're using this setting. Okay, go to my radio dot set PA level. Make sure your radio is at minimum. If it's any higher, your Arduino doesn't have enough current to drive their trans receivers. It's not going to work. So if it's, make sure it's at minimum. Okay. And yeah, make sure you uh, when you're looking at your serial motor, make sure it's at 100. Make sure at this rate, okay? And this is how you can change the rate over here. That's how you change the rates. So yeah, like, let me show you. If you go like 9,600, you're not gonna see anything because it's a different rate. See that? It's question marks. Now you gotta go over here. And you'll see what's going on. Um, yeah, and as you can see, one of the most important things is that. Um, let's see. When you're when you're transmitting a when you're transmitting a data, okay, you're what you're doing is that you're declaring your variable you're transmitting. So I think it says yeah, in transmit, make sure to declare your variables and you gotta send the size how big your data is. So you gotta write this is how, oh shoot. This is how we, this is how you would write stuff to to the other uh, other trans receiver. So it says my radio dot write I mean, it's sending signals and it's that transmitted and the size of it so it knows how much to send. And yeah, that's one of, one of the most important parts. And we here we here go the, go through the receiver and the receiver says you know um, it says read you know write and read. Okay, there you go, guys. Um, yep, yeah, I'll include the, the code, and there you go, guys, and make sure, this is important, too, like, make sure the pinout's correct, you know, I, I'll have a little piece of paper to make it look, um, uh, make it simple, because I know it's not, like, of all the, there's so many different pictures online, and none of them are intuitive, so, I'll give one, I'll, I'll put a nice intuitive picture for you guys. Yep, there you go. That is how you get your uh, NRF uh, working. I've it's uh, it's always painful, okay. And um, um, the best advice I can give you is to keep trying and trying. Read the tutorial, keep trying. Um, yeah, and it's I gotta say it's really worth it to see something work. That the um, the, the the example I showed you guys earlier shows how to send integers. Now I'll be showing you guys how to send strings, okay? So in your transmit, okay, in your transmit, you declare your let's see. Alright, in your transmit, okay? You don't need that. In your transmit, you declare a character, a character called hello, and you say hello world, your message, and you write it, okay? Saying hello. And you're doing string length hello, okay? So this is the this is what you need, okay? Now in your receive in your receiver, okay, you need to set your you guys, so you now you set your variable and this this variable will hold on to the message that's being sent. So it's called data receive, and the reason why it's 32 is because NRF has a, can only send its max length is 32 bytes. So you do, you know, that's how many you put 32 in there. So create space for 32 characters. 
and your length, okay? So the, these two variables are important. This is, what dif this, is what, this is what the difference is, okay? So you go to down and do length equals my radio dot get dynamic payload size. And we'll get the size of this will get the size of this, okay? How much how many characters this has, okay? And then it says add data received equal uh, comma length and it reads it. It sets uh sets the message to this this variable and I'm just you know putting it up there. So this is how you send characters. So sum it up create a char hello and I believe this is called an array you create an array and you set equal to hello world or any kind of message okay it doesn't matter and you send it and in your receive include uh, create a variable that's gonna hold your message and set its size to 32 it's the, it's the maximum create a length int length and this will hold the length of your data and then go over here and it says length or len length equals my radio that guide get dynamic payload size and this will get the size of data and then you know you're setting it okay nope oh. there you guys lights are on they're all good okay now your sample code is on baud length, baud length, um, 115, uh, that number, I can't say it, but yeah, now let's see if it works, okay, I'm going to press T, press T, right, press T, oh, oh, it's failing, oh, you know what, I know why it's not working, it's because the power issues, guys, oh my goodness, I was stressing you guys about not to do that, and then I just did it. Okay, <laughs> all right, guys. Obviously, that that was failing. All right, this is where this is where you go up here. Okay. This is where you go up, and you press this button called "Problems Getting Enter Off 24L01." Okay, you press it, and it's gonna tell you that you know your normal Arduino's can't supply enough current up to 250 milliamps or more okay so you gotta you gotta you just gotta you gotta set this you gotta take this code and you gotta set it okay um where is it so possibilities all right let's just uh let me see okay it says it right there it says low you see that you see that low you gotta set that to minimum min min high caps min okay Compile that. All right. Now upload it. You know, upload the same code. You know, upload the same code to the other port, other Arduino. Except change the change the radio number. I'm gonna set that zero. Compile it. Run it. All right. Let's see if that works. Press T. Nope, does not work. Great. I have no idea. Maybe restart it. <laughs> oh man. This is just a lot of fun. I have no idea why it's not working. Let's see. So sometimes your connections can be bad. Sometimes you're, you know, there's always some weird problems. Uh, all right, so uh, set the uh, RFPA to the minimum. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Okay, uploading zero. So I put the other program. Set the set the roll to one. Set the radio number to one. Okay, upload it, compile it, okay, okay, let's see if that, finally, if that, see if that works. Yep, now it's working. I might have had the different rules or something. 
wait a minute. You know, these mic this is too long. It should not take that long. Hmm. Is it, is it, uh, let's see. It is delaying every second, so, yeah, it might be, uh, then that's it. Um, hold on. 2-9, sent, got response. Uh, sent, got response. E okay, I don't think this is working. I don't think this, nope. I don't think about. I don't think this is working. Hold on. Let's see. Huh. I had a NRF transmitter that's kind of slightly. Is acting kind of strange? Is that why? Let's see. Let's just look at it again. Can restart this bad boy. Hmm. That's not working. All right. Uh, shoot. I have no idea why. Hmm. This other project. Uh, let's see. Set it to minimum. Check. 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 Uh huh. 